every candidate failed on the abortion debate. Now, just disclaimer, because I see some of you guys leaving. This is not. They're probably leaving because I was getting all hot and heavy. They're like, "Oh man, this is too much." <laughs> Pansies. Um, this is not about abortion in and of itself. What I'm talking about. This is about the conservative position on abortion. So, they all failed because they all claim to be pro-life conservatives, yet none of them said that they would support a federal uh, ban of abortion. Yeah, not a one. But. But now I'm I not, agree with them I'm, when they say it needs to be at, at state discretion. I, and here's the thing. I'm not saying that they're wrong, but that's an example of saying <laughs> one thing and doing another mm -hmm. because that position makes sense. But it's not one that any of you have taken in the past when you've been asked about it in a different setting, except perhaps Nikki Haley. I think she's been on record saying, like, listen, I'm pro-life, but we have to be realistic about this. That's fine. And she was actually the only one who... Um, I say she probably won that part of the debate, but that's just because she said it from the beginning, and everybody else is like, listen, I'm a pro-lifer. Even Mike Pence was still like, but, you know, they're going to do it differently in West Virginia. Why? If if your position is that you're pro-life, why are you okay with the states deciding what they want to do? Because, unfortunately, you have to be that way. Because just but, they're because not, but they're not saying they have to be that way. They're saying that they would be that way and there's a difference because it's one thing to say okay I get what you're saying so here's what i'm saying i, I think if that is your viewpoint like let's say you're truly a pro-life uh conservative you can say the following and still say face which is why i'm shocked that virtually nobody did it you say if i'm president of the united states i will do everything and nikki haley actually did say this i'm sorry nikki haley in a way she said it she basically said like listen i'm a pro-life and i would be a pro-life president However, we have to look at reality. We don't have 60 votes in the Senate. We don't have enough support in the House. We wouldn't be able to do it. And then the funny thing was, though, I I forget who it was. I think it might have been Pence, actually. It was either Pence or um, it wasn't Vivek. It was, uh, I think it might have been Pence, or it may have been Christie, actually, who there were a couple of people that were kind of sort of just arguing the point that Roe v. Wade had. And I'm kind of like, well, but you're, what you're talking about kind of sounds like Roe v. Wade, where they were talking about a, oh, I know, I think it was Tim Scott, except he was calling for 15 weeks. But so basically they were saying, it's like, listen, we should have a standard of like a minimum. Actually, it might have been Nikki Haley. I can't remember. But some a couple of people were saying something defectively. Like, listen, we should just have like across the nation. There should be a reasonable, you know, ban of a certain timeline. And then it can be left up to the states for particulars. I'm like, that's Roe v. Wade, dipshit. <laughs> you know, I actually changed my stance on abortion. Like, you, you know about where I was, you know. Pretty well. You know, but I actually, uh, um, after learning certain things and whatnot, I've changed my stance on it completely. Like, um, I've been watching a, a channel called, uh, what is it, Abolitionist or something like that. Basically, they that are. That sounds right. Um, they're, they, they, they say they're not pro-life because the thing is, like, uh, pro-life would mean you value life, correct? Uh, oh, now, well... I, I'm just saying, when, when, you you're, say, you're, when you're, someone says they're pro-life, what they mean is that they, they value life. Well, you're, well, now you're getting to the territory of all lives matter. No, fuck that bullshit. No, no, no. I, here's, I, I, here's, I'm just saying But that. here's what I mean by that, though. So, like, we all know... I got a point, so keep going. I, yeah, so we all know all lives do matter, but in that context, we know that not in this no, is that, that, that shit. Well, but this is where this is just obnoxious. But this is where it's problematic, though, because when you say all lives matter, it's a it's an objectively true statement. But a lot of people who say it, that's not what they mean. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I understand where you're coming from. So for you, I, I, I buy that. But I think for most of the pro-life community, I, I think it's a. Um, what would you call that? It's a not a dog whistle, but it's it's like a battle cry. Oh, it's yeah. like when they say pro life, they're talking about abortion. They're not talking right. about because there are a lot of people who are pro life, anti abortion, and very much pro death penalty. That's that's what I'm saying. Like uh, abolitionists, they're yeah. pro death. They're pro death. So what what what? It sounds like what is it? It's it's I, one guy I'm or is it a group? Pro, I'm not pro death penalty. Oh, I, you said he was pro death penalty. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I, I, like uh, unfortunately, like. I'm sorry. There, there are select few crimes 
that I believe death penalty should take place when you hurt children. Well, but then you're getting into the age-old debate, which you can bring up Socrates, so I can nerd out for a moment. So when Socrates was uh, convicted of corrupting the youth of Athens, there was a law in place where a Greek citizen could not, or Athenian, uh, sorry, an Athenian citizen could not kill another Athenian. So he was given the choice of exile or drinking hemlock, which would kill him. So basically suicide or exile. And they wanted him to be exiled. They didn't want to kill him, but he chose that because if you, like, they didn't literally kill him, but if you say die or leave and he chooses to die, you pretty much killed him. And so his last, I, I always like to think of his, it being his last act of defiance. Okay. But, the, but, the, but the concept of that is does the state have the, and this is a question, does the state have the right to take a human life under any circumstance? No. I argue yes, but on very, very I, limited... I don't want it to happen because the thing, like I said, you know, all life to me is precious. Like, and I, I hate I hate to say it like this, the only, like, but literally you've, the but only you've already death deleted, penalty is, you've already, is someone who rapes and kills a child. But you've already defeated your point then, because if, if there's an exception, then... The, oh, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm completely sticking my foot in my mouth, but the thing is... Well, like, no, 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 not really. I see, not really. I see what you're saying, but the, you're kind of like... You're not kind of like I mean, it's kind of like hardcore pacifists who are like war is always wrong. Is it? Well, how, how how does that one statement go? If you want peace, prepare for war. Yeah, that one hundred percent percent true. But anyway, so uh, so but I think you could make the argument that the best way to prevent ha having to use the death penalty is to have it and make it very well known what crimes will get you said death penalty. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about death penalty, I mean, abortion is a death penalty. No, it's not, because there's no crime committed except the abortion itself. Yeah, because you're you're killing an innocent life. Because yeah, at, so that's at not three a crime. Weeks, at three weeks, guys, at three weeks, the central nervous system is uh, start is starting to form. So, so I'm, therefore, I'm going to push at back. At three weeks, they can feel pain. I'm going to push back a little bit on that. So, and I I don't know the answer. And most this. women don't know they're pregnant at three weeks. There's well, no that's, fucking way. That's not even. I'm gonna. And I don't know the answer to this question. This is just me playing devil's advocate. Sure. So you're saying there's a central nervous system, right? Yep. Okay. At so three you, weeks. so you know what else has a central nervous system? A plant. Yes. Yes. And honestly. Or or you freaking vegans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or or so let's 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 um. So there are even certain kinds of bacteria that will react to things like heat. And uh, like light. bacteria on Mars, you know that's life. I, I mean, in the scientific sense, but we kill bacteria all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not conflating a, a human fetus to bacteria, but the only difference, though, is if you leave the human fetus alone and and just uh, go about your life and just be uh, healthy, it's going to grow. Most 99% of the time, it's going to grow into a full blown human. So therefore, yeah, most of the time. So therefore, no, like ninety nine percent of the time, like uh, all, all those uh, actual rare abortions that take place, you know. So that this is what I wanted to hear last night. I wanted to hear someone talk about that stuff, you know, like actually spitting out facts. And there are no presidents that are for that. Well, and, and I, there's and I, there's I, I, there's it, not it, there's not a single conservative that will admit to the actual oh no. that will admit to the actual rarity of those super late term abortions. I'm not saying they never happen, but they are by n they're nowhere close right. to common and now the I fact the fact that there are places where that's even entertained i think is a problem but you know what stopped that roe versus wade no nah, roe v wade was bullshit how how, how, that, how do you figure back to the state no no, no. Let's, let's 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 have sure. this discussion how do, how do you figure how was roe v wade how was roe v wade bullshit uh well i mean it probably helped uh keep uh fathers out of the home I mean, think about that because I mean, I mean, if if a woman can just go, get I, I would argue, I would argue, well, uh, no, 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 I would argue the birth control pill did far more of that than Roe v. Wade. And on top of that, I mean, don't because get here's the, the thing, birth control pill that fucks with women's hormones. Well, but, well, makes well, it crazy. the thing is, what I would wager, certainly in the early days, why most women ended up getting an abortion was the fact because the guy left. So I think that point is. And I'm just, moot. I'm saying this stuff as more of a shock factor. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> we're doing it for the clips. I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, three weeks. And actually, is crazy. Like, and actually, this is a really good example of how you can have differing opinions on something and still not be assholes. and not be dicks. So yeah, but I, I would like, to, I, I would like to have that conversation. How, how is Roe v. Wade bullshit? Now, I'm not, I'm not saying Roe v. Wade. Phrase was, the question a little different. You had said Roe v. Wade was bullshit. I want yeah. to know how. 
Well, I mean, especially compared to what we it, have, it should now. have never happened. It should have been the state's discretion. But we have that now, and that here's the problem with that. So, so Roe v. Wade put a blanket deadline for every single state, and then states what, what, could. What was the? Was it? I don't remember. Was it twenty weeks? Twenty five? No, it wasn't that. Which um, is way too far, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but it, I don't it, have if the information. You, if you don't realize before. you're pregnant after four weeks, like. I mean, you, you four weeks isn't okay, that I'm long. sorry. I'm sorry. Like five or six weeks. I think it was eight weeks, wasn't it? Hold on. I can't remember. I'm gonna look that up because I'm not sure. And like I said, my opinion is not gonna be popular, and I, I don't really care. It's never gonna happen. So I mean, you know, they're they're never gonna abolish abortion, you know, stuff like that, you know. But I mean, it's not allowed in you know many other countries, you know. But yet. The United States, we're all about it, you know. Eat okay, your so processed foods, you know, get your diseases and your cancer, but it's okay. You so can have an abortion, too. So, so essentially, in layman's terms, during the first trimester, the decision to terminate pregnancy was solely at the discretion of the woman. After the first trimester, the state could regulate procedure. After the first trimester, so that would be three months. Wow. Wow. I mean, really, though, like... I'm just I'm, I I just don't get it. If you don't, if a woman doesn't have her period, oh, like you literally don't, don't, don't after don't a month there. and a half, don't go there. Why not? I mean, I, I I'm gonna tread lightly here. I I don't care. You you, you YouTube you would, like it's like you guys need to get your shit together. And no, no, that's real not. Conversations that's, need to happen. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the fact that I don't have a uterus oh. and I will never have a uterus. So. Fuck that shit. You can have an opinion on it. <laughs> I Put have the an Holocaust opinion. Back. I, well, okay, fair enough. But, there you go. Okay. I'm just <laughs> well, there's there's a bit of a difference between. I, I I was I was told to give you more angst tonight. <laughs> it's Sa- not Sasha happen. was like she's like, get him, and I was like, get him. <laughs> she didn't say get him, but you know she she was like pushed back on a lot of stuff, and I was like, All well, right. you know, if you want to talk about the Holocaust, let's think about it like this. I love not, jo- I love Jordan Peterson. I know. My impression's getting better, I think, too. So I like your impression never was bad. I always thought it was kind of lacking. It was like, listen, if you're going to be honest with yourself. If you were in Germany in 1936, you would be a Nazi. <laughs> that, that see, I lapsed out. You of see what ha- you see what happens when I don't have an edible. <laughs> You're they're not bad. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> well, the thing is, man, like I I deal with chronic pain, you know, and whatnot. That's true. So yeah. like you know, at this time of night, I'm worn out from the day, and whatnot. So it is what it is. Yeah, it's it's like I would I I would love to have a Roe v. Wade debate, but I just. I'd have to, uh, like, you know, like, get my argument sound See, be- you know because I, I said that without a sense of authority. I mean, I, I... You didn't have much to go on. You you believe I, it. I, I know I know what I want to say, but the thing is, like, I can't... Well, say, say it. Maybe, it right maybe, now. No, maybe, like, no, no, I maybe, sound stupid. Maybe, no, no, maybe we can help you construct an argument. Well, for one, I just think it was bullshit because, like, like, like I said, that the only reason was because, like, when, when did Roe v. Wade... What was it? Seventy-eight. I think. Seventy-eight. Yeah, I think okay, seventy-eight. Okay, so when did um, what what is the what is the thing that all conservatives literally go off of when they're talking about taking the man out of the home? Seventy-three. Sorry. Seventy. That's fine. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about? Like uh, that there was something that was enacted that basically made it to where women uh, basically the, the, were the expansion of the welfare state. But what year was that? Because it, it was it was around similar to around that time. I would still argue that the birth control pill did more than anything to. When was that? Um, sixties, late sixties, I believe. I'm just I'm telling you, dude. The birth control pills, like there are other contraceptives. Birth control pills, literally, like have have you heard the? Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, I I I'm pretty sure there's a hey, study on it. Hey, all I'm saying is it changes the way a female sees a man. Yeah, no, that's 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 pretty well, and it makes sense because it's messing with it's it's well, not messing and, with it's changing. Uh, I, I, I was I I read something I, like I said I don't know if it's true. Anyone can fact check me, but basically when they're on uh, birth control, they do not respond to pheromones and stuff the same way they not would in the same way no. off of it. Well, know? because they're they're essentially they're attracted to more feminine men. I I I uh, I don't know if like I said I don't know. If that's I, true I'm not I'm not gonna say feminine as a blanket statement, but they're. Their body essentially thinks it's pregnant, so the, uh, on a and it, it's it's not a conscious decision sort of thing, but on average, it's been said that when a woman is on birth control, since her hormones are regulated as though she is pregnant, she is attracted to 
more caring and supportive aspects whereas when a woman is not on birth control they're tend to be more attracted to you know like generalized masculine traits so there have been weird rep- like nature intended well yeah well i mean nature's not perfect because the thing is women search out I'm, I'm sorry women who are not on birth control they search out people who are protectors and want to take care of them and have a family but when they're on birth control you have liberals. so i will fight back on that and say well maybe i'm not gonna say them all no no i well no here what i would fight back i'm gonna argue from the feminist I'm speaking out of my ass guys I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a feminist for like two seconds like well maybe you should be a man that does both no fair and and fair enough you might ask yourself you might ask yourself why not do both how about a woman that does both I mean fair enough you guys want equality right oh don't even ironically a woman that does both is not a feminist no they're just a hard worker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, I mean, ironically... And, honestly, in this day and age, women pretty much do do both. They go to work, and they, they basically but raise I, I would make the argument that that's why if Not they, all of them. Sorry. But I would make the case that if they found a man, on a, baver, on a balance of probabilities, that they found a man that gave them, a, gave them a lifestyle in which they didn't have to do both, they could still do both if they wanted to. But if they didn't have to do both, I think they would feel a lot happier about right. that. We diverted huge. Let, let's get back on track. Yeah, we're that supposed to be talking about That was my bad. Oh, it's okay. That's a, it's a, it, that, that, was, that was a good conversation. This is why long-form content is better than these debates, because we, we went down a path, but... Oh, so anyway, how they all failed. Not a single one of these candidates was staunchly pro-life, because they all made caveats. And it's like, I'm sorry, if you're a pro-life conservative, a caveat is out of the question because if you honestly believe, and I'm not saying this is necessarily the case, but if you honestly believe that abortion is murder, there is no circumstance in which it could be okay in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry. That's the argument. That's the argument that they make until they're on a debate stage and they have to address, you know. And then, then they're like, oh, 16, 18 weeks. <laughs> but my point is, if you're a pro-life have conservative. Some backbone. If you're a pro-life con- Well, it's not even that. It's like have some standard. If you're a pro-life conservative and you believe abortion is murder, you truly believe that, what's the difference between... Consistency. Well, but here's the thing. What's the difference between one week and 16 weeks, aside from more pain? Central nervous system. Well, but it's worse at 16 weeks. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's worse at 16. What's the difference between one week or eight weeks? If, if you believe abortion is murder, what's the difference? There is no difference. Central nervous system. They feel pain. So it's worse later. That's my point. Yeah. No, no, no. no and I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But the thing is, though, it's so hard to catch it early. Well, like, once, people once, just don't know. But, here, but here's, again. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but if, if you're getting with a guy and, you know, he doesn't pull out and shoots his gravy up in you, I mean, I'm sorry. You should probably go get a, a, a freaking uh, abortion pill or you know maybe you need to be making a doctor's appointment in three weeks well it's also be proactive it's also kind of think about this one though i'm gonna get us a lot of hate tonight if if i am going in the ocean and i decide i'm going to jump into a bucket of fish guts and then jump and in the roll ocean. around and then jump in the ocean and the shark bites my ass cheek off your fault oh well, yeah i mean don't get me wrong it's the shark's fault too but I rolled around in Chum and got into his house. Or her house. Female shark might bite my ass cheek off. There you go, ladies. Are you telling them they should be Shh, lesbians and they no, don't have no, to no. worry about it? Okay, I thought you was going to say what I was doing. <laughs> oh.